Alright then guys, as it appears no one can st stand one game, let alone best out of three. I've just decided to set up a, a rank, uh, not set up a random ranked game. Well it is random of course, isn't it? But um, it is a single game now and uh, I think this will be the last part of the episode. Um, Sergeant Sweaty Sacks, <laughs> putting up a good match on the uh, on the whole paper scissor rock front here. There we go. <laughs> uh, hopefully this guy will stay around. I keep saying hopefully. We'll soon see, won't we? We'll find out soon enough. Um, but safe to say that uh, zombies are, or, or well, even the Reaper on the Nightmare is proving difficult in some respects to some people. Um, this ain't too bad a hand. As long as he doesn't bust out Armadies or Armadies, whatever his name is. And it looks like he, I don't want to use the word could be a good player, but yeah, this is looking tricky dicky. Things like Solemn Warning, Insectors, ooh. This could be very tricky, because I don't think I've got anything to sort of negate as such. Not in a single game. That's the problem I'm up against now. And in fact, that's why I do matches. Why did I set up a single game? What an idiot I am. Don't worry, all might not be lost, guys. I do have Dark Hole. Um, Goblin Zombie will at least add something to my hand. Oh my, that draw power, though. This is... Uh, this could be a problem. Here we go. Oh no, two pass. Things I don't want to set Pyramid Turtle because I don't want it to be uh, blown up by, was it a Hornet or something? Hmm. Solidarity is nice though. Hmm. You know what? I'll summon the zombie and see what he's got. Ah, I bet you he does have that solemn. Uh, no, he didn't go for solemn, did he? You know what? I don't even remember, guys. <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? I'm just talking and just rambling. Um, oh, I get to discard a card from his deck. That's not great, actually. Isn't it that you can equip stuff from the grave? <laughs> oh, dear lord. <laughs> no biggie, no biggie. Now, watch as this gets MST'd. Mm, don't want to set Solidarity, really don't. Oh no, Reckless Greed. Tons of draw power. Has he drawn into a Reckless Greed now? Or is he just planning to finish in one hit? Oh, Dragonfly, that's... Pain in the backside, I think. Uh, Express on one is it from my deck, except in six dragonfly, while this card is equipped to a monster, that monster's level is increased by three. Those guys blah, 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 blah. also going to deck and defense, blah 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 blah. What's he up to? Do you agree for equip this card? Blah, blah. Yeah, so you can special summon. Okay, yeah, here's where things are going to get crazy. I'm going to quick kind of send to your graveyard while I equip this card. You can have one of the cards in your dizzy hand. Buy the card's good. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, and off it goes again. Hmm. This is going to be quite the same thing, isn't it? I'd love to see insectors mashed with something, but I'm not sure what can be, though. As in terms of, um, I don't want to say the guy is using an unoriginal deck, it's just you can't really do much with insectors, or at least I haven't seen much to vary insectors. I might try and come up with something myself. Ooh, I believe that can be mirror forced, though. It's just if I let it go through, then he's definitely going to blow something up, which would be my back row, no doubt. Here we go. Just do that, thank you. Because he's going to blow it up anyway. Actually, yeah, that's it, he's unaffected. So, it doesn't matter whether I used it or not. It really didn't, because he would just blow it up. Okay, what do I have? Spirit Reaper's going to be no good. Um, Zombie Master? A 
Maybe. Yeah, we'll go with Zombie Master, why not? <clears throat> there we go, see that would have been the effect of destroy something at the end of the battle phase. Seem silly. Hmm. We'll see if we can trigger something. I don't want to take too much damage from this. Uh, actually, my solidarity is now at risk. Just realised that. I'm just thinking to myself, surely, uh, this will go across um, Tiras no problem. Um, but yeah, it's it's difficult to call. The thing is, there is no safe play. There is no safe play. If I sit nothing, then I'm just going to take a, a whole whooping, a, an entire whooping. Now will this get deprisoned or something? Fiendish Chain. Ooh, that's even worse. Okay. And what do I have that is five stars? Volcosaurus is quite nice, but he's probably got the Solemn Warning there as well. Alright, main phase two, we'll watch as he blows something up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see if there's some Solemn Warning loving going on. I'm pretty sure there is, there just has to be. Or not. Hmm. Okay, Volcosaurus, let's have a look at you, shall we? So it's not often you get level 5 XY, uh, Exceed monsters out, but you know, you can see there's plays out of things which are quite nice. Now, is this where Solemn Warning is going to hit? Oh my, really? Wow. <laughs> Double fiendish chain. That is pretty, uh, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, not a lot I could have done there. Not a lot I could have done. At least if he doesn't have anything else to set now, I'm kind of good. Oh, Thunder Charger. Mm-hmm. What's he going to do extra with it, though? Just wondering what the point of it is at this moment in time. Okay, that's going to blow something up, isn't it? Is it the Hornet that blows things up? Yeah, there you go. Now this adds another one to the hand. Oof. Okay, when you're supposed to call on the field is... Oh. <laughs> That's something I've noticed really bad about this particular version of Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. At least in Decade Jewels, the description still remained up once the opponent chose their card, but it gives you such a small amount of time, it really does to react, that uh, unless you know all the cards off the top of your head, um, you're just going to be left guessing, essentially. When this face-up card on the field is to go, target one in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. So I'm going to have to finish him this turn, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Ooh. Okay, well, for starters, that's a must. It's just a must. Okay, he's going to grab a something. Oh, can I finish? That is the question. You know what, I might be able to finish. 
Okay, right. If he's got... Uh, things I don't think Insectors play Effect Failure. So we do that, that's 3,450. Um, eh, yeah, you can go, it's fine. <laughs> Probably should have got rid of Hornet, but basically this play is all or nothing. There's, it just doesn't matter what I target at this moment in time now. Okay. So 3,450, so 2,450, 1,850. I've got to grab something with 1,850 attack, which I don't think is going to happen, which is a big shame. Um, yeah, go on, we'll go for this. You know what, if I put, um, what's his name, Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy in there, that would have finished. Just look at my four stars. Um, The only thing really would be Abyss Dweller to, sit, uh, to exceed into afterwards. Okay, right. Butterfees! Oh, pardon me. So it's going to take him down quite a bit, actually. This is, this is turning out to be a close game, at least. And you know what? He might not be able to do something, but I would find that extremely bizarre. Um, if he can't. Actually, I might go into Mace Stroke, because I could put things face down. Can't if it's activated in your opponent's graveyard, I cannot be activated this turn. You know what? I'm going to go for Mace Stroke, I think. Even though I can't activate the face down effect in his turn. Um, at least this would kind of keep me safe. It just depends if he's got anything with ridiculous attack. Okay, now he doesn't get to draw again, so this is it for him now. He's got to he's got to use the four cards. This is a very close game. Oh <laughs> that is a nasty card. That is a very nasty card. So basically, if you can pop me this turn now. The thing is, if I went from Abyss Dweller, that would have been destroyed straight off the bat. Yep, Hornet. He's going to aim for that. And get rid of that. Now, does that gain... Yeah, special summon one insector. So this is it now. It's a GG there. Very GG. Very close though. Very, very close. Maybe if I stuck with my solidarity, I could have won. That would have been an extra 800 attack to use. But you know what? I've got no regrets. I've got no regrets. And end of the day, insectors do what they do with Hornet. It, it, it's just something you got to cope with. <laughs> But either way, you know, this, this has been a good little montage to it all. So two Rage Quits and someone who's obviously stuck around because he's won. But in all honesty, he seems like he knows what he's doing anyway. So I doubt he would have won. So, yeah, what do you guys think to that? I think that would be my last little play with uh, my Reap What You So deck for a little while. But um, I, I, I quite like that. We got Reaper on the Nightmare out quite a few times there. I was loving that. So pop your comments and thoughts in the section below. Let me know what you think of it all, and uh, right, actually, let's check see if we got a message from a... Uh... No, we didn't get any more messages. Cool. So, until next time, guys, you take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon.